What are we going to do to make sure that we're not? Like I said earlier, you better be developing a new skill and a new competency every single day, or you're falling behind the eight ball, because you're going to get replaced by one of those seven elements of the Pencer movement. That's Ray Kurzweil. Ray used to be the uh, head of Google's artificial intelligence unit. He had this to say not long ago. Medical robots will go inside our brain and connect our neocortex to the smart cloud by the year 2029. How long is that from now, Chase? Six years. Six years, give or take. Six years, give or take. Years, give or take. Uh, some people right now are saying with what's happening, I was reading some stuff from Elon Musk the other day. He thinks it's going to happen sooner, and it's all about the singularity, man and machine, humans and machine, I apologize, will become one in the very near future. Some of his physicist colleagues say, no, it might be another 10 years. Some are saying it might be sooner, but they all agree it is going to happen. Basically, what Ray is saying is that if you choose to, you will be able to plug your head into the smart cloud and know everything there is to know about everything. Imagine how you could compete in a world where everybody knows everything there is to know about everything. You know, I, my kids are older now, but I, I fear for them in the next couple of decades. How do you compete in that world where if you choose to, you can know everything there is to know about everything? Some of us might look at that and say, that's crazy, it's never going to happen. Ray's made hundreds of predictions throughout his career as a futurist he invented voice recognition systems. He predicted the internet 50 years ago, and he's been correct 90% of the time. So even if he's only 5% right, what's the impact that's going to have on all of us? And how will we all compete? What will we do to secure our spot in this new world of work?